Okay. All right. So, all right. So tonight we're just going to throw together a quick, quick dinner. I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't been really cooking. Um, but in this pot, I have, well, we have a big family, so I'm going to two, two rotisserie chickens that I kind of pulled apart. Now we're going to add about a third of a cup, maybe a fourth of taco seasoning to this, and then we're gonna throw it on the stove just to heat it up. The chicken is already cooked, um, but I wanted to absorb some of that taco seasoning flavor. Tonight we're making the easiest enchiladas you've ever seen. So, let's put this on the stove over here. and get that mixed together. Cause like I said, we're basically just trying to get some of the taco seasoning flavor incorporated into our chicken. But you also kind of want to shred up this chicken pretty good. Okay, to that I'm gonna add um, a little sprinkle of cumin I know y'all can't see, I'm sorry. But I would just have to move you back over here and we'll start putting it back together. That's why I need two cameras, Michael. We'll just add about a tablespoon of cumin in there. Now, some people don't like to mix taco seasoning with cumin. Who doesn't? Well, some people think it's too much. All right. So, while that's heating up, let's get our pan in here prepared. I got my oven at 350 already. Hey, Linda Watson's on here. That's awesome. Not the lady we met. Baby, I can't I remember people's names. Hey, will you hand me some paper towels right there? I'll just use the last one. The craft challenge was fun to watch. I lost, but that's okay. You lost? Yeah, I did. Connie beat me, Michael. But I'm okay with it. I'm doing another uh, challenge on April 6th. Well, I was going to do this dessert for tonight, but that's only for winter. You are? So let me just give that a stir there. All right, like I said, I'm not trying to really cook this. I'm just trying to incorporate that salsa in. It looks like it's getting pretty incorporated. We got us a casserole dish here. And then you're gonna need your favorite, whatever that might be, salsa. Now. This one I get from Sam's. Whoa. And this one is my favorite. Laura it, said she voted for you. You incorporated all the elements. I know. I tried. But this has got cilantro in it. Thank you for the vote. And so this one is, I really love this one. But it's not even open yet. So let's do that. Michael. Uh, that's why I said what's in the blue bag on the floor. That's a critter for real. The puppy is in there. So we moved the little chickens outside to their uh, thing. And Poppy used to just run around the run, but she kept escaping. So we put her in like the little hutch. Well, right now we have to put the, the little chickens in there. They were getting too big and messy for the kitchen. So we had to bring Poppy in. So Poppy's in there. Until the little chickens are big enough to go um, into the run with the big chickens. Okay, now I'm gonna put my chicken back in this bowl. Like I said, we're not really cooking it. I just kind of heated it up to get that flavor to incorporate into the meat a little bit. Someone said, who's Poppy? Poppy is a rabbit. 
He's a cute. She, she is a cutie pie. Yeah, maybe when I'm done with cooking, I'll show her to you. She is cute. And then we have Jean's rabbit, who's a boy. And he's just a regular, like, he kind of looks like the velveteen rabbit. He's just a brown rabbit. Poppy kind of looks like a calico cat, kind of. Kelly, okay, I want some popcorn. Like wow. a caramel butter, peanut butter, caramel, maybe? Yeah. Huh? Sound good? Yes. All right, so here's our chicken. Like I said, I just really heat it up to kind of incorporate that um, mm -hmm. taco seasoning in there a little bit. See there? That's what it looks like. Okay. Now let's add in about a cup to two cups. I'm gonna do two because I got two chickens of salsa. Let's see how that does. Now we don't want our chicken to be really dry, so we might add more. And these bigger chunks, I'm just kind of smushing to get them shredded. And the salsa also helps kind of incorporate the, the taco seasoning. All right, we'll add another cup. So for two chickens, I did about three cups. Or maybe two, two full ones. Really and truly, you just put as much as you like. Although you don't want this to be super runny. But even if you did make it a little too runny, we're about to add some cheese. So this is what it looks like. We're about to add some cheese to it and that will actually absorb some of that with it. I know, y'all love it when I use my teeth. I just bought a whole pack of scissors. I can't find none of them. What'd you say? I want to come home and wash towels, but I just didn't. Uh, instead of backed up on laundry, we need to go to the laundry back again. <laughs> okay, so I got about two cups of cheese in here. You know we like cheese, so there's that. Hey, Tammy just sent you $500. Oh, thank you, Miss Tammy. Oh, um, Miss uh, Connie Young. I think it's Connie. Won in the challenge for the Facebook interaction. Remember we talked about this? I can go to my page and see who's been doing the most interacting, sharing, liking, um, commenting, little hearts, all that kind of stuff. And they give you points for it. So I can see who my top people were. Miss Connie was our top person last week. And we sent her some of the Walmart bowls that you guys love. The mixing bowls. The Pioneer Woman mixing bowls. So she sent me a message today. She got those in. She loved them. Thank, thank goodness. I, hope, I was hoping she would love them. And she said she loved them. So, um, we do have another winner for the week of the 18th through the 23rd or something like that. And I took a screenshot of her name, but I can't remember what it is. So, I will announce that lady and send her a goodie package. So, just make sure you like, share. That includes reels. It includes any kind of content we put out. Um, just like and share it, and then it'll collect your points, and the top per point person wins. Now, the second place lady, she was second place for two weeks. Now, I know she's going to do it next week. She's going to be number one. So, make sure you continue to like and share. Okay. Wait, wait. Who's going to beat you next week? Not beat me. They're competing against each other. 
Y'all should have did it like a bracket, like a playoff bracket. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any control over it. Facebook assigns the points. Uh, that would have been cool, like you know, the playoffs and then like the two best crafters. Uh, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about inter like the followers' interaction on the. Uh, okay, so he got me distracted. We're gonna roll this stuff up into the here like a burrito, and then lay it in our pan like this. But first, Michael, can you hand me, in that bag, there's two cans of enchilada sauce. Now, you can make your own enchilada, you can make your own enchilada sauce if you want to, but I told you, I'm trying to whip together dinner. So I got this can of enchilada sauce, so you can make your own. Thank you, Miss Pat. And sometimes I do make my own, but I didn't tonight. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of this in the bottom of the casserole dish, just to kind of coat it. Let me show it to y'all. Take this guy out for a second. Chris has said, I find it hard to believe that it wasn't Terry Mullins, keep it. I, well, listen, and, 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 and listen, um, I want to tell you about that because Chris, you're pretty good about doing that too. And, I think that if your page is set to private, it won't let you, like it won't show me you in there. So make sure your page is set to public. Or else I won't know. I can't, it won't show me that you. Somebody wants to know who Mrs. Munson is. That's me, Mrs. Munson. Kelly, you can call me Kelly. Okay, so I put it there in the middle. We're gonna fold it over, just kind of like a baby diaper. Then the two sides up. You got all that chicken in there, and you're gonna say it's like a baby diaper. Yeah. And then roll it together, just like so. And then put it in the pan. Mmm, mmm. And you can. I am using flour tortillas, but you can use corn if you prefer. It's really just a matter of preference. Okay. And then we're going to roll it up. And there we go. And we're going to squeeze them in here. Now, me and the girls are going to the beach this weekend for my sister's 50th birthday. So, it's her and her daughter and granddaughter and me and my girls. And we're going to leave Friday and come back on Sunday. So Big Daddy is going to be, fend for, him and Ethan are going to have to fend for themselves. Which he can't drive, but Ethan has his permit so he can drive them around. They need to go somewhere. They're enchiladas, right? Yeah. Somebody Chicken enchiladas. What was the name of the salsa? And somebody wants to know what kind of meat it is. The salsa came from Sam's. It's a member's mark, and it's a fresh cilantro salsa. Um, but you can use whatever salsa you like. It doesn't have to be that one. The meat is just chicken. It, I used a rotisserie chicken, and then I seasoned it up with some taco sauce. Mixed some cheese in there. Rolled it up into these little burrito diapers. Chipotle bacon dip starter. Now, she can't find anything like that in the store. She doesn't want to know what it was. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I haven't heard it. But do we have a Chipotle here? I don't know. Yeah, we do. I think we ate there. There's one on Jubin. Hmm, I don't know. Who did you eat there? I think we've eaten there before they put in the... No, that's Moe's. Maybe it was burritos or something. I don't think I've been there yeah. Yeah. Is that door just open? I don't think so. I just heard a door open. I didn't hear that. So we went to see the doctor today about Michael's mouth. And hopefully that surgery will be in April. 
what he said. They ordered his piece, like the, the metal bracket that they're going to put in. And so he's thinking probably mid-April we could do that surgery. Somebody said they like your spoon. Where'd you get it from? This one came from Hobby Lobby. They have good, okay, so like um, Thanksgiving and stuff like that, I go on the clearance, you know, after Thanksgiving's over. It's considered holiday stuff, and then I buy it on clearance, and um, they have some good stuff. So, don't forget, when you're rushing over to Hobby Lobby after the holiday stuff to pick up your holiday stuff, don't forget to look at the uh, kitchen stuff. Because a lot of it's like buffalo check. You could use it all year long. It didn't have to be just Christmas. And they'll do the same thing between spring and summer. Like all the Easter stuff. So, keep that in mind. Alright, so that is ten. No, it's eight. Eight burritos. Or tortillas. And I'm going to squeeze them in here. Just like that. Okay, we still got some left, and I got another pack of burritos that we can do. Okay, so now here's our enchiladas. We got the rest of the can. We're just going to pour that along the top. Mm. Why is Sheila scared to go to Hobby Lobby? Because of the good deals? I guess. Maybe she'll spend too much money. Maybe. All right. And then we're going to cover it with cheese. Pop that in the oven. Now remember, everything is already cooked. So we really are basically just heating it up and melting our cheese. I got my oven set at 350. By the time I'm done doing the second batch, it'll probably be ready. Well, it's sticking in there. Somebody want to know where you got your uh, big blue bowl at? Um, you know, I buy those bowls all the time. I have an addiction to them. I want to say I got that one at Sam's. Maybe. Oh, I like to spray the edge of this. Need to get some more Pam. But really and truly, because we put the sauce in there. <laughs> what? She said, you got it, Kelly. I had to hide my bags in my car. Hand me that, um... You can't do that no more. I'm not really bothered. Me. Huh? I never really bothered. You have them. It's not that I hid them in there. I just forgot to get them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you, that you sleep better, man? Yeah. I don't, uh, I ain't worried about telling you about money I spent. Mm -hmm. I don't ever complain to you about the money you spend. Do you, uh? Oh, uh, I saw. Hand me the enchilada saw. There it is. I got it. Even though you do get crazy sometimes. Ooh, now I gotta think of something me and Ethan can do because it's gonna be unsupervised again, huh? Yeah. Sure chance. You need to just take some videos of the animals. Mm -hmm. Try to get a video. Okay, so Waylon, our little baby goat, <laughs> he's decided he likes riding on Jimmy Dean's back. So cute. But we can't. We can't ever catch it on video because he just does it. So we've been trying. By the time I get my phone out and I open it up, like as soon as I open it up, it'll jump off. Yeah. So it was really cute. So we're trying to catch that so we can make a reel out of that. I don't know if I have enough to do eight of them. Okay. One. All right, Robin. What was your question? Oh, Robin. She sent me. Was it? What's her last name? Uh, Robin Johnson. Yeah, that's her. Robin Johnson. She sent me this beautiful. Robin, I just got it yesterday. It's in my in my purse. In my purse is in my car. But she sent me, first of all, a beautiful bookmark. 
What I'll do is I'll post a picture of it on the um, page. Oh, man, I tore this one. That'll be all right. And she also sent me this. It was like a canvas, and it was all, like, if they do the, um, the cups with all those little beads. She made me a whole book cover for the cookbook for that. It's really pretty. And it says the Sugar Shack fam, the Munson family. It says the Sugar Shack crafter and cook. It's really pretty. And Miss Robin, I love it. I do. I actually went to the post office by myself that day. And I come home and I showed my gloss. Look how pretty this is. Shoot. Okay, so I'm going to have to just cram all of this in this last one. It's not going to be enough. D. Okay. So maybe 12. Yeah. I really could have used the small Doing casserole. Some lives with some co I only got one. Oh, that's my cell phone service. Some lives with some cool with. I think that would be a good thing. I love cool with. Uh-huh. All right, so because I've only got four in here, I'm not going to use this whole can. I'm just going to cover these things. And then let's put some cheese on top. I really thought I was going to be able to do all eight. So we put some salsa. We put some taco seasoning and some cheese. All right. I'm going to keep the rest of these tortillas. We can make little snacks throughout the week with these. Yesterday we cooked some ribs. Let me tell you, Jimmy Dean, whew, Michael, sometimes he gets so mad at the dogs because they do bad things. But his little precious can do no wrong. So yesterday we cooked ribs on the grill. And when I was taking them off, um, I like spilt some of the, I don't know, I guess the marinade or whatever. And so the dogs were like licking it up. Well, Jimmy Dean come over there and he started licking it up. And he came to realize, thank God I was taking them off. He came to realize, hey, this is food and it came from the grill. So you know what he did? Took his little snout, flipped the whole grill over, upside down. I was like, oh my God. Michael's like, oh my God, he's, he's so strong. You're so strong, little boy. I'm like, are you kidding me? He would have been mad if I would have been a dog. They would have been in time out, but not Jimmy. He's a strong boy. He couldn't help it. That's Michael's baby. Sometimes I think he loves that pig more than his wife. Okay, now let's check on. Man, it's coming along. Let's give it a few more minutes. I don't think I can save this enchilada sauce. So I'm just going to pour it out. I know, y'all don't fuss at me for being wasteful. It was just a little bit. And I don't know what I would use it for. I'm sweating. Mm. Yeah, I hope we have a good time. I know, I'm sure we will. Hope it's uneventful. Let's put it that way. The beach trip. I'm just giving that just a few more minutes and we'll take that other one out. I, I know. He didn't know. Michael, did he, when he flipped himself, did you check and see if he burned himself? Yeah, I was out there watching him and I was too far to stop him. But then he just flipped it and then just snorted around. I guess you could tell it was hot. So he flipped it and then he realized it was hot so he didn't mess with it? I guess. I had already walked inside carrying that big pan. And I hear Michael out there hollering, Ethan! And at first I was scared because I thought he fell. But I realized if he fell, he would call for me. 
So when I went back out there, I got to see that. You can pick the, after it cooled off, you can pick the grill back up. I would probably let this go a little longer, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Let's put this one in. Linda said, you're sweating, I'm freezing. It's hot here. We got our air conditioner on. Somebody said that color looks pretty on me. Thank you. All right. Actually, wait, let me see. Pictures. We got this uh, green goddess avocado mm -hmm. dip we might eat with it. I was looking for some cilantro, but I don't think I have any. So, I don't know how to make this pretty. I tell you, sometimes the hardest part of this job is making the pretty pictures. How hot right. is it here? I don't know. What was it, 80? Oh, it was like 85 or so today. But it's raining now, so the temperature's going to drop a little. Okay. Let me get some more light on this. She said it's almost time for you guys to break out the shorts. Shoot, Chris, that's all I wear, girl. Yeah. Yeah, he wears shorts way more than me. Camera. That ain't gonna work. So it has to be over it. That looks weird. I don't know why it's that color. Hmm. All right, let's see. All right, well, that's pretty good. Let's try to plate it. It's pretty hot. So let's just move this over. And... Washer. Okay, let's see if I can try to get this out neatly. You know, if I was just feeding my family, I wouldn't care too much about trying to make it pretty. But because we need a picture, it makes it a little harder. Oh. That look pretty. What's in the bag behind? That's not a bag. It's a, it's a um pet crate, and mm. I wouldn't put sour cream on mine. I only like sour cream and dips. Okay. Um. Well, I'll show you what we can do to make it pretty. Here's a spoon. Let's get some of this enchilada sauce, and maybe put it on top there. Paper towel. I'll tell you, I'm 
taking the pictures is definitely one of the harder parts of this job. Now, she said she wouldn't put sour cream, but this is, well, it probably does have sour cream in it because it's dip. But I'm going to put a little bit on the side, I think. This is, we got this from Sam's. It says little limited time offer, but it's a green goddess dip. We haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's delicious. Hot mama. Hope so, anyways. My guess is that it has cilantro in it. And I think I'm going to take this dip. Maybe just... Put a little dollop on the side. With some little parsley. You think on the side or on top? I don't have parsley. On the side or on top? On the side. Put it on top. I don't care. Put it on top. <gasps> it on oh, the it side? slides off. Dang it. Put it on the side. Oh, well. That looks okay. It looks good. Okay. Let's get the picture, then we can taste it. That's good. That's good enough. All right. Here you go. Okay. You don't want them? Or you didn't want the sauce? Oh. No, I like the sauce. I thought you had them ribbed just a little bit again. Well, then you eat some, then I'll eat the rest. What? Yeah, take, take a bite, and then you'll understand what I'm saying. And you just go back in the oven? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I had left it in there long enough. But, mm. it's good, it's just, it's not cold, it just could be heated up more. So, I guess I'll throw these back in there for a little while. I don't really have to have it, but why do I take a pic? Oh, for the uh, website. For the website. Put a little sauce on there. Mm. It's good. But it's fast. Fast dinner. Definitely a busy mama dinner. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it a night. And... What do we have to do tomorrow? It's supposed to rain all day. What do we need to do tomorrow? Michael, I'm um, see. Um, okay. Well. Never had them before. These are really good. So, we're going to go eat dinner and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. You'll have a great, great day.